Hello, welcome to this episode of Low Carb in the Leaves with me, Dr. Mary Barson. Again, I'm inside today. It's very, very wet out there. This week I've been talking about cardiovascular risk factors and how you can modify them to reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. This is all um, supporting and, and ideas around our podcast, Real Health and Weight Loss podcast on cholesterol that was published on Tuesday. Get it wherever you like to get your podcasts. Today I'm going to discuss aging. So aging is a risk for heart disease and strokes. Um, older people are, the more likely they are to have heart disease and strokes. And it's always traditionally been classed in the non-modifiable risk factors. So you've got your modifiable, which is like smoking and diet, and exercise, sleep, stress, and your non-modifiable risk factors, which are things like your genetics, you can't choose your parents, and your age, you can't really control your age. And it's true, you can't. However, the process of aging is exceedingly complex and scientists are still unraveling it. The processes by which our bodies age are multiple. There's um, mTOR regulation, telomere attrition, um, just genomic instability, there's uh, stem cell degradation, there's all kinds of practices, um, all kinds of hallmarks of aging. There's like nine or ten of them. I'm not going to go into them now, it's sort of beyond the scope of this little coaching call. But they it's a complicated process by which we age and the interesting thing although we can't do anything about the fact that we're just going to get older that's just going to happen we can age more gracefully and healthily and there is lots that we can do within our lifestyle that really changes the way in which we age right down to that cellular biochemical level that can literally alter those hallmarks of aging and the biggest factor that we can that, that we could all engage in to modify our aging and to keep ourselves healthy improve our lifespan is diet it is it's absolutely number one diet saying goodbye to the standard Australian diet standard American diet the sad diet and hello to a nutrient-dense real food diet if you limit your processed sugar, your processed flours, and your processed foods, you're doing really, 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 really well. And you will already be modifying those hallmarks of aging. Fasting, intermittent fasting, absolutely fantastic. We still don't know what is sort of the optimum length of fasting with humans in mouse models. It's been shown that 24 hour fasts in mice really reduce their mTOR activation, which is one of the, um, those hallmarks of, of, of cellular and biochemical aging. But as mice have um, much faster metabolisms than us, it's reasonable to assume that in humans we'd need to fast for a bit longer than 24 hours. But even a 24 hour fast would, does great things for your health and longevity. Managing your stress, it's fantastic studies looking at telomere attrition and the telomeres not getting too complicated oh each of our chromosomes has got a little cap at the end that helps it from stops it from unraveling and that is called the telomere and it's kind of like the little cap on the end of a bootlace if you can imagine and if you've ever lost those caps and perhaps your bootlaces have started to unravel sort of like what telomeres are but just as a little quirk of of um of biology we are unable to completely, when we replicate our cells and our chromosomes, we're unable to completely go straight to the end. We just can't. So every time our, our cells replicate, every time we take a copy of our chromosomes, we, we, we get, the telomeres get shorter and 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 shorter. And this is one of the hallmarks of aging. But this process can be sped up by stress. Fascinating research looking at that. The people who are under a lot of stress, their telomeres actually get shorter, faster. So stress management is a really, really important thing. So simple things can actually modify the way in which you age.
much. Aging is not a bad thing. Aging is a normal, natural thing. I think that it is just a beautiful part of being alive. And I'm not talking about this from a cosmetic point of view, about, you know, the crow's feet and the wrinkles. But from a feeling well and avoiding chronic illness, you there is a lot that you can do. There is sort of, broadly speaking, two ways in which we can age. You know, we can deteriorate slowly over time, getting more and more debility um, until we eventually die. Or we can stay as well as we possibly can for as long as we possibly can and then die. We're going to die. We're all going to age. This is going to happen. But what I want for all of you guys is to have a little bit more of a flat line to that curve rather than it going down. Your health deteriorating earlier. Let's stay as healthy as we can for as long as possible. And that, my beautiful people, is diet, sleep, stress management, moving your body, getting a bit of sunlight, having good social interactions, and just taking really good care of yourself so you can live your absolute best life because we only get one of these precious lives. All right, everybody. Have a fabulous day.